Welcome back. All right, so first off, I classed up my look with this. I got this at an Abbotsford game. Now I've got now I've got the neck chain for for the, the Johnny Canuck, and I've got the skate one too. But I'm not wearing a skate jersey. I'm wearing my JT Miller because I don't have a Dakota Joshua. De Joshua's number is 81, so I figure eight plus one is nine. So this is as close as I have to a Dakota Joshua jersey for now. Um, I yeah. I, I might need a Dakota Joshua jersey, and I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be a popular jersey with Canuck fans after tonight. So I had really made my peace after the second period with whatever happens in the third, I'm cool with it. Like, this is just, if they don't win this game, all right. But if they win this game, great. So it was Saros versus Demko in this one, and the Canucks come out to where the streets have no name. About time. Uh, it, like, seriously, I don't understand why they ever went away from coming out to that. It's just an instrumental version of that song from U2. It is one of the most perfect songs to come out to for a hockey team. And I, I never understood why they went away from it. It never made any sense to me. Um, it, it, to me, it's iconic. It, it takes you back 15, 20 years in Vancouver lore. And, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. Now, this was the first home game for the Canucks in front of fans in Vancouver in 3,286 days. So, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, Besser has a shot this block. The hitting ramps up early. It wasn't like a really heavy hitting game. We didn't hit 100 hits in this, but there were still some pretty good hits being thrown. Uh, Myers has a shot that deflects wide as the Canucks press. Stastny has a chance that's held. Evangelista's robbed. I thought he was one of the better forwards for Nashville tonight. Uh, there's a press by Nashville that follows. The shots on net, not that high. Only 2-1 to one for Nashville at four minutes the Canucks draw power play there's an early clear Miller has a shot that's blocked it's cleared again Besser fires one wide his next opportunity is held uh, there's a net feed to Hoaglander that gets blocked Nashville clears it out they kill that off one shot for Vancouver during that power play uh, Carrier has a shot that's blocker to side the shots are three to two for the Preds with nine minutes left so not a lot of opportunities this was a low low event game for the most part and tonight, I think, showed that, yes, the Canucks can play that low-event hockey. Canuck fans would know this, but if you haven't followed the Canucks, um, you, you may not be aware because they're not known as a team that plays that low-event game. Uh, Canucks have a 3-on-2. That misfires. Bluger has a shot that's blocked. Myers has a 4-on-2 rush chance. That saved. Uh, Garland to Lindholm near miss. I think Lindholm might have had his best game as a Canuck tonight. Uh, Canucks press with four and a half minutes left. They're kept to the outside. Evangelista has a wrist shot. That's held. And then off of a face-off win, Nashville opens the scoring. It's Zucker from Yossi and Jankowski at 16-15. It's wired past the screen uh, from the left circle. And that was the fifth shot on net for Nashville. Vancouver had three to that point. Uh, both teams would have one shot the rest of the way. So... Uh, pressed by Nashville with three minutes left. E. Giuseppe fans on one. Saros ends up holding on. We get some pushing. Uh, O'Reilly has a net feed. That's picked off. Pedersen fires one wide from the slot. Pedersen was firing a lot wide, high, all over the place. Um, I, I hope he gets that accuracy going because if he does, he's getting the opportunities. He will definitely get his share of goals. Um, teams exchange last minute rushes, but yeah, it's one nothing for Nashville after the first. And really, you could look at this and say the Canucks had a lot of shot attempts. Nashville blocked, and Vancouver missed the net a lot. I mentioned Patterson, but there were others as well. So second period, Suter has an early chance that's saved, and then at 47 seconds on a zone entry, Lindholm puts one through a screen on zone entry from Joshua and Zadorov. Joshua had himself a game. Uh, the Preds look to respond. Forsberg has a chance that's kicked aside. There's a press by Nashville at two and a half minutes. They're kept to the outside. There's a near miss for Besser as the Canucks press, and the fans are getting loud. It's a tie game. Uh, Mikheyev's denied in close. He's snake bit. He's not allowed to get goals. That's just the that's the deal with Ilya Mikheyev. Uh, fans call one. The referee doesn't, so he sucks. There was a lot of ref you suck going on tonight. There, there was. There was a lot of that chanting going on tonight in Vancouver. Uh, there's a post and out for Yossi. There's a press by Nashville five and a half minutes. Canucks having turnover issues at that point in the game. Um, and turnovers are the one thing that just, yeah, it, it makes me tense because I know how often goals are scored on turnovers. So the shots on net are 4 nothing Canucks at 6 minutes. I was surprised, net, surprised Nashville that hadn't been credited for a shot at that point. Besser has a shot that's blocked. Suter shoots one wide. Zadorov has a shot that's kicked aside. Saros pretty sharp as the Canucks are pressing for the lead. The shots are 8 nothing for Vancouver at 8.5 minutes. Uh, we get a power play for Nashville, and that becomes the storyline in this period. Evangelista has a chance to save. The Canucks clear. They clear it again, but then at 10.46... 
Uh, O'Reilly buries one from the left circle on the power play from Nyquist and Forsberg. And then Sissons has a turnover chance that's saved. So now Nashville has a lead, and they're going for more. Shen has a net feed picked off. The Preds with the last four shots at that point. Nashville goes back to the power play. There's a blocker save on Forsberg. The next one he fires wide. Nashville cycles. Then there's a failed clear by Kronick. Uh, more cycling. Bluger finally ends up clearing it out. McDonough has a shot that's held. There's some pushing, and that power play is killed off. Hughes then has a screenshot that's held. With 4.04 left, Nashville gets their third power play. And so for me, having seen Nashville going one for two to that point, a little nerv nervous is one way of looking at it. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the Canucks clear. They clear again. Uh, there's some defense chants. I still don't chant defense at hockey games because to me, defense is a chant you do at football or preferably basketball games. It's, it's really a basketball chant to me. Because the other team has the ball, so you're you're back and playing. To me, I mean, defense is important with the penalty kill, sure. But I like shorthanded goals, too. So, anyways. Uh, so, Pred cycle. Myers has a failed clear there. Uh, things then get pushy. Or, no. Uh, cleared again. Defense chance. Myers failed clear. Here we are. Shorthanded McKayev rush finishes the kill. Miller then has a three-on-two chance that's saved. Garland's denied in the closing seconds. I almost jumped past one of the lines on my board. Uh, things are pushy with 2.6 seconds left. The fans call one. The referee doesn't on that play. I didn't hear a ref you suck chant in that, but there may have been one in between periods. I have no idea. So it's a, it's 2-1 to one Nashville after 2. And as I said, I was like mentally preparing myself for the third period. I do not get nervous watching Dallas games or Boston games like I do Vancouver. Vancouver, I get increasingly nervous as the game goes on. Um, this is why when people are like, well, he really cheers for Boston. No, because I don't get that level of nervous. I get nervous, but this Canucks, it's a whole next level. Uh, so we go to the third period. Miller has a rush chance that saved the Canucks draw a power play. Uh, there's an early clear of the Canucks cycle. Miller's shot is blocked. Pedersen fires one height. They need Pedersen going on the power play. For this power play to really start clicking, Pedersen's got to start hitting the net. Uh, things are pushy on a hold by Saros. The Preds clear. They clear it again. They kill that off. I believe there was one shot for that because the Canucks had the lone shot three minutes in. I'm pretty sure that was on the power play. So this is a chess match, which is great for Nashville. Nashville's the team with the lead. They don't have to go in and attack. They've already got that extra goal. So there's an ozone penalty by Di Giuseppe. Uh, that, that's an issue, right? But the Canucks, <clears throat> early clear for them. O'Reilly then fires one wide. There's another clear. Then there's a shorthanded rush by Suter, and the Preds don't really get set up. They can't get into a rhythm. The Canucks do manage to kill that off. Miller has a rush chance that's defended. Lafferty has a shot that's blocked. The referee is told that he sucks on an on-call, yet again. Uh, Besser fires one high on a rush, and then Hughes with a point shot that deflects in. I'm not sure if this is going to stay Hughes' goal. Uh, it was the last time I looked. Besser and Hronick with the assist at 8.59. So that ties the game at 2. And then they're announcing the goal. Well, uh, Garland with a really nice forecheck forces a turnover, gets the puck to Joshua, and he buries one from in close. And at 9 minutes and 11 seconds, and over a period of 12 seconds, we've gone from a 2-1 to -one deficit for the Canucks to a 3-2 to -two lead. And they're very good with leads in the third period. So the crowd just absolutely goes nuts. That's the loudest I've heard a Vancouver crowd in at least 10 years. Um, and then they start ta taunting Saros, which they were doing here and there. Which I thought was brave when they were losing two to one. Like I thought, wait a minute, and they were they were chanting for Saros and and obviously a taunt because it's not the Canucks goalie. And I thought, well that that's a choice. We're losing right now. Why would you, why would you taunt the other goalie? Anyways, the Canucks press with eight and a half minutes left. Hronik has a one timer that saved. A heavy pressure by the Preds with seven minutes left. Demko made some absolutely fantastic saves. So that's why I just put heavy press. Just to say to people, hey, he made some really nice saves. I'm sure it'll be in all the highlight reel packages. Uh, Zadorov has a blast that's held. Pushing going on there. I thought Zadorov had a good game. I did. Uh, Forsberg has a net drive that's kicked aside. The Canucks were a bit on their heels. And I thought there were a couple of plays in that third period where they might have been calling a penalty if it was in October. But now that it's the uh, the playoffs, they're not calling it. So the goalie pull happens with 2.05 left. Things get pushed in a hold by Demko. I'm still not breathing at this point. So getting near the point of passing out, I, I'm just basically crouched on the floor. <laughs> so I'm crouched on the floor watching and coming up to make notes here and there. But yeah, for the second half of that third period, it was basically in a crouch. Uh, then Joshua takes me out of that crouch so I can do a little bit of happy dancing. 
Uh, Joshua gets the goal into the empty net from Bluger and J.T. Miller. So there's the Miller uh, jersey at 18-32, and that makes the score 4-2, and the Canucks didn't give Nashville much after that. So Vancouver wins 4-2. They lead the series 1-0. The shots on net, 6-4 Nashville in the first, 10-6 Vancouver in the second, 10-7 Nashville in the third. Final shots, 22-21 for Nashville. Power plays, 1-4 for four for the Preds, 0-2 oh for, for Vancouver. The hits, 39-32 Vancouver. Soros saved 17 out of 20, and Demko saved 30 out of 32. Of the series we've seen so far, this one might be the closest. This one might be the series where these teams are just, there's so little difference between the two. So I would not be surprised to see this one go the full seven. Uh, that being said, I you know, the Canucks need to win the next game as well and keep that home ice advantage and then put some pressure on Nashville to win at home. But hey, they won the first game. So I thought, hey, why not, why not throw on the chain and class up my videos a little bit and uh, wear a jersey I don't normally wear, hat too and all that. So there you go. Um... All the home teams have won so far in the playoffs. That's got to change tomorrow. we got four more games tomorrow. Uh, we'll look at those with a preview in the morning, but uh, I'm done for tonight. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It feels great to finally review a Canucks playoff game again. It's been almost four years since I reviewed a Canucks playoff game. I, I hope that this is a year that that they build on whatever happens from here but at any rate there you go thank you guys so much for all your support i will talk to you again soon